reading time with CJ. Thank you so much for joining me today, girls and boys. I'm so happy that you're here. And are you ready to see what's in my magic bags of books today? Let's take a look inside. Wow, girls and boys, look at this. This book is called Star of the Week, written and illustrated by Barney Salzberg. When Stanley Birdbaum heard the news, he practically flew home from school. I'm star of the week, he shouted. It's my turn to share my favorite things. That night, Stanley and his mom prepared snacks. They're going to love this, he said. You're my star every day, said Stanley's mom as he left for school the next morning. In class, Mr. Wigger pinned a star to Stanley shirt. I'm sure everyone would like a little snack, he said. Did you bring your favorite food? Stanley passed around sandwiches. Their tofu, bologna, cream cheese, and jelly with pickles, he told them, on pumpernickel. Stanley was happily nibbling his sandwich when he noticed that no one else was eating. They're good, he reassured everyone. Really? Mr. Wigger took a bite. I've never had tofu bologna cream cheese and jelly with pickles before, he said. Pickles do add a nice texture. I'm not eating this, said Polly, seed eater. It's disgusting. I thought this was going to be fun, Stanley said to himself. I think I was wrong. As star of the week, Stanley also got to share his favorite toy. At home, he tried to pick one. It took a while. I know today will be better, said Stanley's mom, as he left for school the next morning. When it was time for Stanley to share his favorite toy, he pulled a plastic robot out of his bag. Is that a doll, Polly Seed Eater asked? Everybody laughed. This is Mr. Bizzo, said Stanley. He's a walking, talking robot. Stanley wound Mr. Bizzo up. Hello, 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 the robot repeated as it rolled across the floor. Then, boink, an arm came loose. Crack, a leg popped off. Goodbye, groaned Mr. Bizzo. I thought this was going to be fun, Stanley said to himself. I think I was wrong. Finally, Stanley went to talk to Mr. Wigger. Being the star of the week has been awful, said Stanley. Nobody liked my favorite food. They've laughed at my favorite toy. I don't think I want to share anymore. I know it has been a challenging, said Mr. Wigger, but I think it's really important that you finish what you start. I can't wait to see what you share next. When it was bedtime for Stanley to share what he liked to do best, everyone sat quietly on the rug. I love to draw, Stanley whispered. This is going to be as good as that silly robot, said Polly Seed Eater. There was giggling. Mr. Wigger suggested that Stanley draw something. Stanley froze. His arms felt stiff like tree branches. He wished he could disappear. All Stanley Birdbaum could draw was a little curvy line. That's not what I meant to do, he said. Stanley Birdbond loved to draw noodles, sang Polly. There was laughing. Well, it could be a worm, said Larry Finchfeather. Stanley smiled at Larry and began to draw. Ta-da, he announced. Now it is a worm. It's a squiggle drawing, someone shouted. And it's great. Do another one, said Larry Finch Eater. Before Stanley could begin, Polly marched right up to the front of the room. 
Here's a squiggle, she said. I bet you can't make anything out of this. Everyone was quiet. Stanley stared at the squiggle. After a few moments, he began to draw. Now, how about a bird looking for lunch? Stanley said when he'd finished drawing. Everyone clapped. Polly Seed Eater had nothing to say. For the rest of the week, everyone, even Polly, wanted to make squiggle drawings. I thought this was going to be fun, Stanley said to himself. I think I was right. Wow, the end. That was such a great book, girls and boys. I hope you enjoyed this one. And if you'd like, you can purchase this book by clicking on the link below in my description box. You can get it and we can read together again next time. All right. Take care and have an awesome day. Bye bye.